He's back. Michael Badnard, 2004. Libertarians 
proudly advertise themselves as the party of principle. But saying it doesn't make it so. When Ron Paul announced his presidential campaign in 2007, many libertarians complained that he would steal votes that belonged to the Libertarian Party. When I endorsed Ron's candidacy, I was accused of abandoning the Libertarian Party and becoming a Republican. I didn't abandon the Libertarian Party. A significant percentage of the Libertarian Party abandoned the principle of liberty. Libertarians as a whole are lazy. They're always looking for a shortcut. They're always looking for a silver bullet. In the 2008, uh, the 2008 membership nominated the candidate with the highest celebrity status, apparently on the assumption that after several television appearances, Americans would suddenly understand the principles of liberty, party membership would skyrocket, and we'd all live happily ever after. There is no silver bullet. The only way to restore our constitutional republic is to work 18, 20 hours a day promoting the cause of liberty. Needless to say, very few of us are willing to put in that kind of effort. I guess that we are fortunate that libertarians have all the answers. I know this to be true because so many of you came up to me after my presidential nomination to tell me, Michael, all you got to do to win the election is fill in the blank. Everybody knows what they want the other guy to do for liberty. Do it yourself. We have too many chiefs and not enough Indians. If you have a great idea, find the resources and the volunteers to make it happen. Tell me about it after you've been successful. Stop telling me what I ought to do. I don't get enough sleep the way it is. So here is the bottom line. The Libertarian Party is an endangered species. Unless you dramatically change the way that you do things, the party will soon be extinct. If you really want to save the party and restore freedom, I have a few suggestions. Establish a dress code. <laughs> if you want to be a major league player, you got to wear the uniform. No t-shirts, no shorts or blue jeans, no flip-flops, jackets and ties for the men, skirts and slacks for women, okay? Pretend you're going to the prom. Eliminate paper candidates, okay? If, you, if you're not going to run to win, then stay at home. Or better yet, volunteer for a candidate who is committed to going all the way.